up my sexy and debonair sunflowers this is queen tubby 1000 yes in the flesh with her candy yum yum lips exotic hypnotic not for us <laughs> yeah i'm being silly <laughs> anyway you guys i'm feeling really good as you can see god is good um it's sunday and yeah she's unaware that i'm i was doing that because she has earphones on you guys want to see it again <laughs> she's gonna be upset anyway you guys um i hope you guys having a a good sunday like i am just coming from getting gas and i'm going to turn in my time sheets so i can get paid the office is not open however the building is open and we're able to slide our time sheets under the under the oh snap i didn't even get a envelope uh, well, I think it'll be okay. We're able to slide um, slide the time sheets under the under the door. I can't even talk. And I am so hungry. You guys will not believe. I haven't ate anything today, and it's two forty nine. Only thing I ate was a little chips and some juice for breakfast. I had a cup of coffee around ten. I slept in today because I deserve it. I haven't did that in a while. I was sleeping really good having some cool dreams you know every time I sleep I dream and um we're cheating today as you know we have our days I got these new chips that I really like I'm gonna show you guys yeah these are loaded bacon and cheddar potato skin by Ruffles they are the bomb.com I love those. And then also we like the Kickin' Jalapeno Ranch one by the Ruffles, the same one. Those are good. It's a quiet taste because when I first tasted I didn't like it, but then I kept eating eating the bag I bought, the small bag, and there grew on me. My daughter, the same way. She loves them now. So yeah, but after I turn in my time tickets, we are deciding to go. I'm gonna do a little vlogging there. We're going to this Chinese like Mongolian beef type of buffet where they have the wok and they cook right in front of you, you know you pick your own stuff so we're gonna and they have sushi rolls or California rolls whatever you call them but I love them so I'm gonna do some vlogging there and no I didn't go to church today I'm gonna start going to church I need to find me a church a church where you know we can go because I went to a few churches and yeah I was like it was it was okay it's one of them big churches and stuff and after seeing that program on TV which I kind of felt that way even before seeing the program I hate to say um, a lot of these pastors especially in these huge churches they not really in it for the right reasons, you know, as you think. They, you know, I mean, not all of them. There's some good pastors, but Woo, it's me. some of them are in it for profit. You know, it's a career for them. They got these huge houses in these rich areas and driving Porsches and all kinds of cars when there's members in their church that are dedicated members come there every Sunday and tithe and give offering. And they're suffering and struggling and going through a lot of things. They can't even afford to pay their rent half of the time. But yet the churches, not all of them, there's some churches that won't even help those members. But I'm like, it's crazy. So that, I mean, you know, that kind of like makes a person not want to go to church. Because I've seen all kinds of things. I went to this other church where... People, it's like, it's like a fashion show. People trying to outdo each other. They play music. Everybody's getting up, dancing to the altar. They looking at each other. I, I, you know, it was like two girls looking at each other, 
trying to outdo the other. I'm like, are you serious? So, just have to find the right church that's for you. Pray about it. I pray at home. Um, and although I would like to find a church to where I can start giving my tithes and offering, I really do. And I know God is going to lead me to that place. Um, the few churches that I have visited and those things happened, I never went back. And then I'll, I don't like some churches where you go there and they're like, um, you give your tithes and your offering. Okay, I need everybody to give, pull out a hundred dollars for the, uh, for the pastor. It's his birthday. Come on. Now, you know, you got a hundred dollars. You can take money and go and buy, a uh, uh, um, cigarettes and this and I'm like are you serious they're like trying to make people feel guilty saying that God will bless you if you give a hundred dollars to the pastor mind you you already gave in your tithes you already given your offering you gave what you can you gave your 10 percent and your offering is what you can but no they want to try to make you feel guilty now you know you sitting in there you got that hundred dollars in your wallet to go buy some uh uh, you know, some, some extra stuff, you know, you don't need anyway, help the pastor, the pastors, it's the pastor's birthday, everybody give a hundred dollars, and 10 minutes go by, they still on it, they still saying different things to try to make you give your money, and it's like, it's kind of, I don't, I don't like that type of, uh, a church or environment, I don't like it, and I'm like, you sitting up there driving a Pinto while the pastor's driving a, a, a Porsche. She got two Porsches. And I mean, now there's nothing wrong with the pastor, um, you know, a man of God having nice things. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's a lot of people out there that's just, I saw this program, it's, um came on, I think, Oxygen our own no oxygen i think it's about pastor something i forgot the name of it and there's one pastor that was there i have visited his church i'm not gonna call which pastor but wow that's all i can say is wow um wow um i just don't i don't really too much care for that show because i just feel a real man of god would not want to be on a, a reality a reality TV show, and they already know what happens. You know, they try to coach you into acting a fool on them type of shows. And I'm like, as a pastor, I don't, I don't, um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was very disappointed. I try to give it a benefit of the doubt to watch it and say maybe it's going to be positive and uh, have some good, uh, encouraging stuff. But I was like, I can already see what this show is heading to. They had a big argument on the show. And I was like, are you serious? These are pastors. So anyway, hopefully the next episode, I'll go ahead and watch it. First, I decided that I wasn't going to watch it. But I think I'll go ahead. Um, I'll go ahead and watch it this time to see. But if the second show is like that, I don't think I'm going to watch it anymore. Because that kind of like discourages people from want to go to, you know, these you know some of these churches it's like i'm like are you serious so if you guys know what i'm talking about um you can put the name at the bottom because i forgot the name of this the program so anyway um i'll see you guys on the next video thank you and god bless bye